Hi guys, welcome to my house. My dorm, I should say. Not my house yet. My name is Chris Acevedo. Uh, I'm a student from the United States. I have Costa Rican background, so I would Espanol también. Uh, and I've been in Germany for about a year. Uh, so yeah, so this is my dorm. This is the living room. Um, as you can tell, it's, uh, it's a little messy. There's not a lot of stuff here. I was placed in uh, Hexheim. Unlike American dorms, German dorms uh, have a lot of freedom. Uh, this is the kitchen. Um, I try to cook a lot because I just don't have money, you know, to pay for stuff. Uh, you know, go to restaurants and stuff. Price range, I think, I think it's good. It's around uh, three, three twenty a month. It's really uh, contingent on how many people live with you. So the more people live with you, the cheaper it is, and the less, the more expensive it is. That's where I cook. It's nice. If you ever want to make yourself some pasta, or you know, if you don't feel like doing much, you can just come out your room, go to Reve get yourself some nice chips and cookies and a nice beer and you're all set. And Reve is right across the, the street from us and I really like that because it's convenient. Hexam is only about 15 minutes away from the university. It's greatly located, it's a central location. There's a tram running every five, ten minutes. So you are bound to find some way of getting into the city. The city is only what, ten minutes, eight minutes away. So location I think is, is perfect and uh, you're not in the city, but you're not outside the city. My stuff, a little messy again, but I don't have time to organize when I'm studying hard. I live with a German Nicaraguan guy. Uh, being able to talk to someone and understand the German experience through a foreign eye at the same time, through a minority eye at the same time, is very interesting. And uh, studying hard, talking about studying hard, my roommate, uh, this is where my roommate lives, I live in a double. Uh, clearly, he's not here. He's most likely studying for finals. It's final season right now. Uh, him and I don't talk that much, but when, whenever we talk or interact, it's always been very informative, funny. And the cool thing, too, is that he gets to practice my Spanish, and I don't get to practice my German, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of what the setup uh, that you're going to find. Um, let me show you my bathroom. Simple bathroom. Uh, you know, just a toilet, a shower. What I like the most about the residence is the independence I get. I feel like I'm, I'm being uh, led into adulthood slowly, but in a really nice, gradual way. You are the master of your own destiny, and you make the experience here in Hexheim. I've been very fortunate to meet great people and to be proactive and to really, you know, want to not be in my room all the time, because this is a place where you can be in your room all the time. But I decided not to come to my room. This is my room. Uh, so one of my favorite things to do, or one of my favorite things that I've done throughout my whole year, uh, year here in Germany, is to collect little memories, postcards, cups, and different things to remind me when I go back to America of my experiences in Germany. There has to be a more concerted effort to find activities, to do community building within the dorm, to maybe do a scavenger hunt. Uh, it could be a sports team. There's so many ways, I think, that the organization as a whole in the university can make a community, can make a spirit of each of the dorms, maybe doing competitions between the dorms. Just finding ways that people can connect to the dorm. And this, and this place cannot just be a place to gain independence and to sleep, but rather a place where you can have and say that memories were made and that whenever you see Hexheim, you have memories attached to it. I collect cups, I collect postcards, I collect uh, different things that remind me of Germany. One of my favorite things in Germany was the Christmas market. I was there at Weihnachtsmarkt and I tried to go as, to as many as I could. I went to Frankfurt, Wiesbaden, and one of my favorite ones that I collected was from Heidelberg. So this is the one from Heidelberg. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Uh, but I don't know, it was really, it was beautiful. It had the Schloss there, it had snow, and I felt like it was one of my favorite things, one of my favorite traditions from Germany. You know, eating a nice German Wurst uh, and drinking some Glühwein, I think would be something that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life. I haven't used any of the amenities apart from the bar um, because I just felt like either they were not well advertised or they were very specific to certain groups of people. When I hear music room, 
I think, musician. I am not a musician, so why would I go there? Cinema room, and I don't know, I, it doesn't seem like there's, like, maybe they should be like, oh, we're gonna show The Lion King, or we're gonna show, we're gonna do a Disney festival, right? And you're able to maybe find people who have interest in, let's say, Disney movies or musicals to get students to use those spaces. You need to make students know about the spaces, but at the same time make students feel accepted in the spaces and make students feel like they have something to gain from the spaces. If you guys you want to come here, these are this is where I keep my, my clothing, my socks, my underwear, as you can see, very diverse. Some pumpkins on it, some stripes on it. Uh, and you know, just my beauty products. You gotta look good, you know? <laughs> beauty products, you know, some, you gotta moisturize. The weirdest ways, the weirdest things can really lead you to uh, connect with people. Dealing with German bureaucracy, university bureaucracy, uh, we were able to, you know, just to interact. And thankfully, these people that I met in October, we became friends. And you know what? We hang out at the bar sometimes. And it just goes to show you that even in the darkest times or even in the most frustrating times, there's always opportunities to meet people. This is my workspace, so whenever I'm at home and whenever I'm cooking, I like to listen to music. I like to watch Netflix, so, you know, House of Cards or any show that's interesting. My books are here and all of my personal stuff is here. One of the things that I finished while being in Germany was this philosophy book. Uh, it's just a summary of the works by Michel Foucault. Your room is your canvas. You can do whatever you want. I love the bar and I think the bar is great. The drinks are great. You know, you're not spending a lot of money and you're having a good time and you're meeting people. Don't forget me, Nicola, when you're in Italy, please. You're one of the people that I really like. There's times when the experience can get very lonely, when the winter can really hit you. And I think that's when you realize that the friends you make here and the people that you make, uh, that you meet here, can be a really good support system. And lastly, one of my favorite things about the dorm is the view. Uh, I have a great view of, you know, the outside that little forest outside uh, and whenever it's dark and there's a nice full moon uh, I can see that too. Sometimes I was lonely, I was depressed but I found a good, a good group of friends who I could talk to, who I could reach out to, who I could go out with, who I could go eat with and I think that's something that I will keep for the rest of my life.